Yeah, everything's pretty much going according to the Father's will. Call Halayim Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Harakakwadash. That's the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit in whom we praise. Double honors to the apostles, elders, and bishops of Great Millstone who rule well over the flock of Israel. Shalom and salutations to you, Akim, out here, pushing the words of truth in sincerity. Shalom to all the elect Akim and Akwav, scattered Israelites and Israelite foreigners. I'm Rapa Ma. I brought this out. This video is edifying. <coughs> the scriptures is written as a mystery, and the mystery is only revealed to those whom the Most High has called. We liken it unto a great awakening after a great sleeping or a great forgetting forgetting of who we were forgetting of what times we're living in and how to identify the times we're living in according to the bible through prophecy well in the ancient world we had a better understanding of who we were we had a better understanding of what times we were in and prophecy and so we were more in tune with the way the Heavenly Father has set up his will and how his will eventually takes over. Acts, the second chapter, verse 23, it says, Him being delivered by the determinate counsel and foreknowledge of Yahweh, ye have taken and by wicked hands have crucified and slain. That he is dealing with Yahweh Shah. The word or the name Yahweh Shah is in the Hebrew tongue means he saves. It's Yah is he. Yahweh Shah means save. If you want to say Yahweh Shah Nawa, that means save us. So we get the word Hosanna from. So the Mosai set up his son to be the perfect sacrifice and atonement. Going back to the accordance of the law, and the ordinance of the law was that in order to um, atone for certain sins, you had to shed the blood of a victim or a sacrifice, which are one and the same. And that sacrifice had to be upright, basically without blemish, of a certain age, of a certain type or breed of animal. You couldn't just do what you wanted to do. So the Most High offered up his son. The foreshadowing of that event took place back in the time during Abraham. And Abraham was asked to sacrifice his son on the altar. And Abraham went ahead with this plan up until the last moment where the Most High stopped him. Then he provided Abraham a sacrifice. Some things come later. Some provisions come at the last moment. The Most High pretty much just tests our will in these different challenges daily. So him, that Yahweh Shai, his son, delivered by the determinate counsel and foreknowledge of Yahweh. So there is a determinate counsel. When you look up that word determinate, it goes back to the word terminate. Or term. The term is an end of something. <clears throat> to determine means to set an end from the beginning. So the Heavenly Father has an ending that was set for his son from the beginning. And that's his own counsel. And foreknowledge means to know ahead of time. So the scriptures very much tell you about things to come. And that's what we call prophecy, which means to say before. It's a compound word. Pro, before, aside means to say. To say things, things before they actually happen. Moses knew things before they happened. Alright? All the prophets got their title prophet because they would say things or give visions of things to come before they actually happen. We're still living out many of these prophecies. For instance, Nebuchadnezzar's dream was a um, dream that only Daniel had the ability through the Heavenly Father's uh, grace to be able to interpret. And in the end of that dream, there were um, feet at the bottom of the statue 
that were mixed part iron and part miry clay. This is the system that we live in today. It's the feet, it's the end, it's the determinate council that those feet would be in. Um, that system would be partly strong militarily and partly weak economically. The weak nations that have to uh, be held up by stronger nations. <clears throat> NATO and the EU. And that statue, that statue came to an end once this rock or this, you know, this, this stone flew down and struck it and then tore apart the entire statue. So we're living in that time. We have yet to come to the time when Yahweh returns and tears down all of these leaderships. So while it was the determinate counsel of the father to sacrifice his son before Tom, it had to play out. And Yahweh Shai goes on when he returned after his death and then his resurrection on the third day, he returned and spoke to man for 40 days. And in, in some instances, he told them, do you remember when I told you that the son of man would have to be slain and then crucified and return again on a, and rise on the third day? I told you this. It was all to fulfill the scriptures. It was all to fulfill what was written. You know, I will show you in the book in the Moses, the book of Moses and in the law concerning me. So how wild is that idea that a man comes, right? Which we were searching for a Messiah. It wasn't as if he just showed up and said, I'm a Messiah. Let me show you what that word means. No, Israel was very much intact with prophecy and knew of a Messiah, the coming of one who would save the children of Israel from captivity and establish an eternal rulership. We understood the prophecies that and the blessings that were given unto Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We knew who we were. And so the fulfillment of Yahweh Shah's death and resurrection well, first was first written a four time. It was explained how it was going to happen. Yahweh Shai himself walked around explaining to men in his ministry that he would have to die. They rejected it. Some understood. Many didn't. But it was all to the determinate counsel and foreknowledge of Yahweh, which means the Father has already predetermined what will and will not happen. And in the NLT, you can see it says, and his prearranged plan was carried out when Yahweh Shah was betrayed. Starting off by saying, but Yahweh knew what would happen. So the father knows, man. Lord knows is a term that is stuck with our people through slavery. And you can still see so-called Negroes, Latinos. I'm sure so-called natives still say this, even on a reservation. Lord knows. The father knows. Because he does know. But he also shared a lot of that wisdom with his men, his prophets mainly, to be able to tell you what's to come. Now, World War III is to come. Thermonuclear war is to come. A great salvation of the Lord's elect people chosen of the nation of Israel is coming. <clears throat> Pestilence, plagues that will eradicate many people are coming. A downfall of this society and a crumbling of the economy in the in stages, various stages of a downfall of this mystery Babylon is coming. A mark of the beast by way of a sea hip is coming. Let's go to our next scripture. Romans 8 and 29 says, For he did, for whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son. Now the most I also foreknew that we would change in this time. 
we would change and become more like his son. It was already predestinated. The word destiny means your fate. Many of these people alive today, their fate is to die <coughs> by the judgments and the plague sent and the scorns <coughs> as sent forth for amendment to change, to correct. Many people are too far gone in their darkness and in their sleep. They have to be judged and corrected because they walk not in the light. But the Heavenly Father had already written, just like he wrote down and had the prophets write down. It was already preordained, pre-written, and pre-told that Yahweh would have to be crucified and resurrected. It, it was always pre-told and predetermined by the counsel of the Heavenly Father himself, Yahweh, that the elect, those that he knew, foreknew, meaning we were with him uh, in Yahweh in the beginning, his elect, the Allah and the powers there from the beginning, after Yahweh was created first, and that we would be conformed into the image of his son so in believing on his son NLT says he chose them to become like his son it says who would be the firstborn among many brothers and sisters and you know the firstborn has that control that lock on the rest of the children usually you could identify how the rest of the children will be based upon how the firstborn is you give all to your firstborn Yahweh Shai is the firstborn who we are all starting to become more like. We're suffering like Yahweh Shai. We're set upon the determinate will of the Father like Yahweh Shai was. We're focused on our mission to please the Father like Yahweh Shai was. We're becoming more and more like the firstborn. And this was all a determinate council. It was all preordained and prearranged to be like this. So, again, this idea that something written down has to come to pass only in the Holy Bible, or only in the Holy Scriptures, is this a thing. Outside of the Scriptures, no other book can match, and no other book or religion can relate to something written down and coming to pass as the scriptures do. Lastly, <clears throat> Revelations 8, uh, 13 and 8, really quick, just to end it off. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. What do we have here? Those that are worshiping the beast. And the way you worship the beast is by getting that MOTB in your right hand or your forehead, a physical uh, C-hip, if you will. That without it, you won't be able to buy or sell in this new Internet of Things digital currency system that's being created as we speak. Well, for those who worshiped the beast, your names are, were not written anyway in the book of life and therefore the most high has already determined that you will take it because your name's not written and if your name isn't written no one's there to provide uh, keeping or watching over you so that you refrain from taking this mark you identify with the beast and you will be identified by the beast as its slave and have to receive of the plagues that the beast it is already written determined ahead of time planned out destined for the beast to be destroyed and you along with the beast will be destroyed because your name is not written in the book of life and it is fulfilled for you to be punished along with the beast. I brought this out this video. Is that a fine? Till next time. Shalom.